You know, in life, this is a very important lesson. In life, you have to know that sometimes, you know, people speak about emunah. Emunah starts, this is when emunah starts. Levels of emunah starts when you don't understand. You know, a lot of people, a lot of times people say, I have emunah, I have emunah, I have emunah, it's great. Everything's going great. But what at that point where it's not going your way? I know someone, he planned an amazing trip to Israel. An amazing trip to Israel. And he was working on it for weeks. And he's telling me, Rabbi, I'm making this crazy trip. Uh, he, he literally planned it for weeks. He got, he's telling me, he got, he got business class, he got the fr- fr- front row in El Al with the bed, the whole nine. He got the top, top, top hotel. And he told me, right before he went, he calls up the hotel to make sure about the reservations. And he tells to me, I have the confirmation number. He has the trip number. He has everything. And he's showing me everything on, on paper. And the hotel says, we have no reservations that exist with this name. And he's like, well, I planned it six months. I'm looking at it. I'm planning it. I'm doing I have no reservations for this name. He's calling the credit card, refund me the money. He's calling this, he's calling, how could it be? He says, you booked it through a third party. You didn't go straight direct to the hotel itself. Go speak to the third party. The third party says, we'll see what we can do. They're calling up the hotel, this, that. It didn't work out. It did not work out. Now, that's where Imuna pulls in, where you did everything you can do. And now you trend everything like that, and the last minute, boom, it didn't work out. You know why? Because you can only do a certain amount, and it's called the Shalut. After that, the outco- outcome of the actual physical uh, thing is not up to you anymore. You could try to buy a house, and try the hardest, and try and try and try, and you could offer more than the guy is getting. You can offer 50,000 more, 100,000 more, and still, you, yeah, and you know the realtor, and you know the, you, know the, you know the realtor very well, you're doing deals, and he's saying, I'm going to get it. You did all yishtadut. At the end of the day, the, the outcome of the house being yours or not being yours, it's not up to you. A lot of times. Correct that? Eh? Right? Many times it, hap- it, it happened. I happened. I, 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 I'm telling you, I'm sitting, you see, it doesn't make sense. It says, what, what happens? Oh, the realtor says, oh, by the way, the last minute, there's a tenant in the house that the tenant uh, wanted to buy it. So being the fact that this tenant is there for uh, X amount of years, so the owner decided to, to sell it to the tenant, even though he's losing $100,000. Does that make sense to you? Imagine you lose 100 grand. How do you lose 100 grand? <laughs> it's a true story. It's a true story that 100 grand, the guy lost 100 grand. So what are we going to do 100 grand for? And the, re- and the realtor doesn't understand it. And this one, that one understands. The answer is in life. You must understand this correctly. You have to do yishtadut. You have to do your part. And you have to do the utmost as you possibly can. But the outcome is not, the, the outcome is not up to you. The outcome, the physical outcome is not up to you. You did your salute, that's it, you did your part. After that, it's up to you. It's up to you. There's a very story, very famous story with the brisker, with the brisker rov. I heard this from my very Mordechai Lamet. What happened was, there was a big, there was a big ASIC at the time between, you know, the, the very not religious and the religious. And they were doing things on stage to disgrace the religion. The brisket rub was there, and he got up, and he says, excuse me, every time the person went up to, to, to make a disgrace for the Jews, he, he sat, excuse me, sit down. So the guy sit down. The conductor that's in charge, he tells him, you go back up. And the brisket rub went back, all the way back to the stage, and he told the guy, get back down. The conductor said, get back up. It happened time and time and time and time and time and time, maybe, maybe, maybe 10, 15 times. Finally, the risk girl was like wiped out. He literally have no, he had no more kuchot. If the, many times going back up the stage, tell him the guy go down. He's physically telling him go down. 
The guy goes down, and they, they, they're a lot of people. So the other guy, the non-religious guy, tells the other guy, you go back up, go back down, go back up, go back. Finally, he turns for them, that's it. Prescribe says, I, can't, I did all my shtadlut, I can't do anymore. This is the last time, and now the guy got back up again to disgrace the, 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 the religious, religious Jews. This time, from the balcony of the ladies' section, random, we don't know who it was, this, that, that, that. A lady screams, listen to the rabbi already, get back down. Everybody got so scared. Who was it? It was like the conductor's wife that was screaming and she came at that moment. Like, My wife is here, okay, so that's it, we're stopping the whole thing. And after this, this story I heard from Mordechai Lamet, and after saying the story, he said a point. He said he did, he did his max to Shadlut. Once you finished your, your, your max, at the end, the outcome will come with you, without you. doesn't make a difference. It'll just be. It'll just be, if Hashem wants that to be. If not, that's it. You did your part. Because you have to understand, at the end of the day, as much as you try and you do, when you try and you do, when you try and you do, when you try and do, don't forget there's a creator. There's Borei Olam. You cannot move your finger. You cannot move your finger without Kadosh Baruch Hu giving you the ability to move it. You know that? You cannot. It says in Gemara Hulin, you don't stub your toe unless it was Gezera. I believe it's Dafhet in Messiah Hulin. It says, you don't stub your toe unless it was decreed from Shaman that you would stub your toe. You know what it says? You remember, you remember you went to go get a cup of water in the middle of the night, you're going down, you open up the fridge and you stub your toe. Ah! You think, oh, because the light wasn't on, I should have put the light on the kitchen. No. It was because you deserved that stub on your toe. <laughs> No, it's the lights. He blames it on the lights. It's the lights. It wasn't the lights. It wasn't the lights. It wasn't the lights. And this is a great lesson of Imuna.